had just returned from the war, one of those Green Beret Rangers. A trained killer, people were to say later. Before the war, he had hunted down and broken wild horses in these mountains. Some said the reason he was so good at these things, and the reason he lived alone in this forest, was that he had some Indian blood in him. Others said he simply didn't like people. All I knew was his name, Billy Jack. Bumped into my bike, son. Well, I'm sorry about that. Well, no harm done. You were lucky. You're the one who's lucky, man. He's eyeing the sheep, Daniel. Maybe he wants a little candy. You keep your mouth shut and your dirty thoughts to yourself, son. Look who's talking about dirty thoughts. Close, wasn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Please, God, help me! Help me, mister, please! Henry, don't you dare. We can't get involved in this. Do you want to get us both killed? Let's get out of here. It's a dime for the police. I don't want no trial in here, mister. It's a dime for the phone. No, 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 Come on, give me that. Dime hell, I don't want that bastard in here. Give me the place, please. It's urgent. been beaten up. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. That's it. Move on. That's only one gun, Indian. You think you're going to get all of us with one gun? You're clear over your head, Indian. I'll count to three. One. Two. Allowed citizens to take the law into their own hands, our streets would become jungles, armed jungles. I hereby sentence Mr. Jack to 120 days in the county jail or to the payment of a fine of $1,000 plus costs. You can take your choice. We'll pay the fine, Your Honor, but we would like a stay of execution for five days so that we can gather up the money. Stay of execution for five days. So ordered. Well, that fine about bus you, doesn't it? Tell me, what did they give the guys on the motorcycles? Guilty of assault. 30 days or a $150 fine. Go help someone again sometime. <laughs> Okay, now I'll count from 350 to 400. Oh, wow. I can't uh, even remember the hundreds. Um, trecento? Yeah, that's right. You should, trecento, tre... What's that all about? Hey, Vicky! Vic! What's the big rush? I'm gonna meet my father. Translated, that means she's late for her father's plane. Her father? Oh, come on. The day Vicky Spink of a father actually takes time off to stop and say hello to her? Well, that's what I thought. But not only is he saying hello, he's taking her down to the Big Sur and they're gonna spend the whole Easter break together. I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> 
famous heart-to-hearts. I should think he'd be fed up with this fat pig of a bully by now, Jerry. Why don't you cut out? If you get on that motorcycle, you're dead. Jerry, you want to cut out, get on the back of this bike right now. I promise you, he'll never clobber you again. Kimosabi, didn't they teach you how to read in squaw school? Well, it is my old friendly rival. One of your rare visits off the reservation. Hey, Daniel, you know this ferocious killer from way back? Back when I was a little smaller and I had to settle for second best. Too bad I wasn't around the other day when you gunned down my boys. Hey, Danny, maybe you'll give us a repeat performance. <laughs> no, he's not stupid. But neither are we. Maybe he's here checking all that white meat, Danny. These kids are here looking for it. <laughs> You're, uh, parking our spot, engine. I don't let anybody park in our spot. I was just leaving. Isn't that a shame? Uh, Sir, you have a problem over here. Oh, Tonto. Would you like me to call the automobile club? They'll send out a little white Jeep and fix it up. Won't yeah. be any problem at all. 
Looks like your horse threw a shoe, Andy. Oh, no, he's got a shoe. They're not making tires like they used to, you know that? <laughs> I uh, don't suppose there's too much sense in asking who did it. <laughs> well, why don't you start with the longest one? <laughs> I suppose if I took him on, I'd have to take you on too. I think you'd find him quite a handful all by himself. Ten minutes, engine. You better be gone. <laughs> yeah. No, Krabs, it's not mine. Is it yours, Daniel? No, no. No, it was here when we got here. Hey, hold it, man. Why don't you just take the serial numbers down on this thing and uh, send out a PBY or an SOS or something? <laughs> yeah, Fred, you got enough of those at home already, haven't you? I'll tell you what, faggot. You come down to the jail to visit me sometime. Alone. We'll lock ourselves in a cell together and see who comes out with a key. Hey, Fred! Troopers! Let's 
kind of a big bank for a little girl like you, isn't it? Just riding alone. Do you want some company? Hey, Daniel. Yeah. Look what's coming. First prize for the woman. If he can catch her. <laughs> Let's go get her. She's being harassed by a motorcycle gang down the highway. Well, for all broke that down to the beach, I've sent out every man. Tell her to come on in or go home. Have they pushed you off the road or hogged you in any way? No, they just buzzed around me shouting obscenities. Well, if they bother you again, call back and I'll try and send a car out if I can find one. Well, you don't have to be so friendly about it. She. Question is, who the hell do you think you are? Hey, we're cousins. Not hardly. Get off the bike, chick. Let's take a look at you. When I come back to Earth as a horse, then I'll let you inspect me. Maybe. Okay, clunk. Move it or lose it. He can't hear you. He's deaf. Oh, oh. <laughs> boy, speechless. <laughs> well, he can hear this. Go <laughs> <laughs> that dumb bitch, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Then do what I tell you. It's your only chance. Okay.
She looks okay. I think she'd like to become legal. Would you like that, Chick? Like what? To become legal. Become one of us. I don't know. Depends on how expensive your dues are. Not very expensive. All you have to do is turn out a little. Turn out to be what? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. You want to tag along or not? Unless, of course, you're afraid. Of you? If I could possibly give you any more time, Billy, I would. I'm afraid you're gonna have to come up with the money by this weekend. Mr. Prang, there's a rodeo coming up north next month. Now, I know, and I know that you know that I'm going to win some money at that rodeo. Now, are you telling me that you can't even give me until then? Billy, it's too late. Crawford still want to buy my Jeep? Yeah, but he's not even offering you a blue book wholesale. You'd really be getting cheated. Is anybody else offering me anything at all? Nope. Then I guess I have to take it, don't I? Yeah, but that would only last a little while, Billy, and then we'd have to foreclose. Now, I know that nobody can break or gentle a horse better than you can, Billy. Problem is, there are no horses left around here. Things have changed since you've come back. Tell Crawford that I want the money in cash. Tell him that I don't trust banks. Palace. Come on. I'll give you a personally guided tour. Let's go. Charming. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> Craig, let's get some booze. We gotta loosen up for the initiation. Oh, why do you call him Craig? Because he's got him. <laughs> Ever since he caught the disease from some broad, he's been crawling with it. He's okay, though. He's a good cat. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, Danny boy. Where'd you stash the numbers, man? Let's do it official. They call me child, after Christ's child, because of my compassion and gentle nature. <laughs> Vicky. You like Danny, huh? He's something else. But when he gets mad, he goes crazy. Wow. Clear out, man. Clear out. Oh, the child there, he's a real mother. He can fight at the drop of a hat. Took on four of our best one night, and the next meeting we made him vice president. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Wouldn't any club? Oh, and cue ball here. He's another punch out artist, huh? That used to be a rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and speechless here. He's a dummy. <laughs> Shake hands here. Stepfather cut his tongue out when he was a kid. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Take a beer, go on. Oh, and gangrene here. He's the biggest one of them all, man. He can lift a car without a jack. <laughs> we call him our disease King Kong. <laughs> well, does that complete my initiation? Not if you want to be a mama. Do you want to be a mama? Oh, I'm sure. What's a mama? Oh, you want to be a mama. 
Anytime a loser gets lonesome or needs a little, he just goes to a mama and she takes care of him. Anytime at all. Oh, how Christian. <laughs> I'm gonna like having you for a mama. Uh, just how was the mama initiated? By getting it from everybody. Neato, all at once or just one at a time? <laughs> This is very funny. What do you do for an encore? We help you take off your clothes, baby. You guys must be out of your gorge. You're really serious. Bet we are. Is this the only way you can get a woman? It's a way. It's a damn good way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Don't get pie. Remember the old saying? What old saying? Well, you know, if rape is inevitable, uh, relax and enjoy it. <laughs> Groovy saying. <laughs> Who's got the acid? Acid? Oh, come on. If you kids are gonna sail, we're not coming out of orbit for three days. I'll be the best damn mama this club ever had. We're all tapped out. Sorry. Nice try. Except I just happen to have some on my bike. And some amphetamines, too, unless you're afraid to mix the two. Oh, what a bunch of finky bad guys. You really are afraid. What a bunch of shuckers. Even little college girls got more guts than you do. Get it. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll get it for you, OK? It's hidden in the liners. You can send me with a bodyguard if you're afraid I'll press my wrist and disappear. Crabs. Hazel, go with it. Hey, where's the action? On the initiation room. Come on, I'll personally escort you. <laughs> Come on, Krabs, I'm gonna need some help. Uh, loosen that spring under the kickstand. What for? For a while, muscle head. Just do it. You know, the word for you, Krabs, is water. Soap and water. <laughs> Maybe I never touch this stuff. <laughs> you should, because if you don't, you know what'll happen? Sure. More crabs? Nope. <laughs> Lights out. <laughs> well, are you gonna call out? Yeah. After you've left. Do you like that white goggle, Abe? I gave birth to his son. You mean he's your husband? Yeah, but don't tell anybody. You might ruin his reputation. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. Just get on your bike and leave. Well, thanks. <laughs> and good luck. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Beat it. <laughs> What happened? She clobbered crabs and got away. I couldn't stop her. She's, uh, she's a pretty good one, isn't she, Chicky, huh? <laughs> we gotta get her back. Speechless. Jerry, go get it. <laughs>
here. I'll call the police. Well, call them. That's fine. Only let me in, please. Next Monday afternoon at 2 o'clock, this courthouse will be the center of the next scene in the tragic aftermath of this year's Easter surge of teenagers into this resort community of Big Rock, California. Climaxing a week in which police booked 974 juveniles and 78 adults will be Monday afternoon's attempt by the district attorney to obtain indictments against six members of a motorcycle gang for the brutal rape of these three local teenage girls, Linda Prang, Joe Del Shorn, and Luann Crawford, who is said to have suffered some sort of mental imbalance as a result of the attack, and of a vacationing college girl, Vicki Farrington, who has not yet been released from the hospital. Authorities are still attempting to reach Miss Barrington's father, who is somewhere in the Far East on a business trip. The big question in everyone's mind is, will the girls testify? We asked District Attorney George Davis why, in view of the many times that motorcycle hoodlums are arrested for rape and assault, they are never convicted. <laughs> people are afraid to testify. We live in a time when people don't give a damn about the law. The law is good. People are afraid to testify in accident cases or call a cop when someone's beat up. These people are afraid of reprisals to their daughters, and it's that simple. Mr. District Attorney, any truth to the rumors that the girls will refuse to testify? <laughs> no truth to that at all. We'll be there. Remember, all you need is one witness to obtain an indictment. In this case, we've got five. Two of the members have been positively identified by the college girl and are being held without bail pending... We're going to make sure when this weekend's over, those parents not only want to drop the charges, but they want to get their kids out of this country. No kid brother of mine's going to spend 35 years in jail just because some dizzy broads decided to yell rape. Which one's the most scared? The ever sexed one in the purple bikini? Yeah, Joe Dell Shore. Just heard that two-bit hustler of a mother, man, living all by themselves. Mom, I thought you weren't going to that meeting at Prang's. I'm not. I'm going to work. Besides, I wouldn't meet with those pompous idiots. When are you going to finish painting this damn bedroom? You know, in those television pictures, you could have at least covered up your face like you always see those other people do when they're arrested. I got news for you, Mom. I wasn't arrested. I'm not the one that did something wrong. Well, if you didn't sneak around and hang out at that strip all the time, nothing wrong would have happened to you either. What do the waitresses think? Now, you keep locked up tight, you hear? They keep the windows locked and the drapes pulled. And don't you open that door to anyone. I don't care if it's your best friend. Do you understand? Goodbye, baby. Oh. The sheriff's number's here by the phone. And so is Mr. Davis. You call me the minute you hear anything. Even if you're just frightened. 
I don't care how many times you call, okay, baby? Mama, no one will bother me anymore. God damn it, call me! Mother? Mother, is that you? Gone on. Ferdinand, you dirty old man. You wait. You ain't seen nothing yet. Do they harm you in any way? Do they touch you? One grabbed me, but he laughed and let me go. He said that if I testified, he'd get me and finish it any time, any place he wanted, and no one, no one could do anything about it. Mommy, I told him I wouldn't testify. I told him, I told him. You told him, and you see what good that did you. The only way you'll be safe is to help us to put them away. Oh, no, you don't, mister. We've had it up to here. If you can identify them, we'll lock them up. Sure, and then some more buddies will come. Can you swear to God right now that if she helps you, He'll protect her completely. 
She can go on living a normal life. She won't have to be in terror every time she goes out. Or even when she comes in. Can you? Today, tomorrow, forever? Mrs. Shore will do everything humanly possible. Can you guarantee her absolutely? Yes or no? Not absolutely, no. The day you can guarantee her, that's the day she'll testify. Until then, we're clearing out. If you leave now, those animals will go free to do it again. Look. Just, just do me a favor. Get out of here. Get out and take that jellyfish of a sheriff with you. We both know I, I could force you to help us. Oh, no, you couldn't. You can lock me up for 20 years, but my baby is getting out of here. Look at her! I am looking at her. And I have the power to take her into protective custody. I could hold her here until she could testify. And I could cut her tongue out so she couldn't. Now get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Sunshine to visit every morning. You know, our class visited a home for retarded children once. How nice. Not really. Because even though I was friendly on the outside, inside I kept looking at them like they were freaks. You know, like someone who'd look at a girl who's just been raped. It's funny, whenever I feel someone's freaky or creepy, you know how I talk to them? No, how? I talk to them in phony baby talk. take her into protective custody or get her father to talk to her. But he can't talk to her. I can't even locate him. Then you'll have to try to talk her into cooperating with yourself. Come on, I'll take you to her room. says she'll be released this morning. Yeah, what some people won't do to get a little sack time in, huh? Tell me, if you, uh, you thought about what we said? Yes. Well? Do you want me to be honest with you? Of course. I just want to get out of here and go home. I don't want any more troubles. There won't be any more trouble. If you want to stay in the hospital, you can. Yuck. We'll put you up in a motel with a police guard 24 hours around the clock. Look, you don't seem to understand. I'm not much of a person for causes. Let's face it, since I've been three days old, I've been a spoiled, self-centered little rich girl, interested in taking care of only number one, me. The only reason they dare to rape and hurt because they know they'll go free, that no one will testify. I don't know. 
Will you really protect me? 24 hours a day. But you've only got 48 hours till the hearing. Okay. But after Monday, that's it. I go home, period. I'm sure sorry I don't have any work for you, Billy, but this has become such a recreational area. Yeah, yeah, I know. There are no horses around anymore. But if there were, you'd have worked for me, right? Sure. Yeah. Well, if you just give Mr. Prang what I owe his precious little bank and then bring me the rest in cash, I'd appreciate it. In cash? Why don't you just leave it in the bank? Huh? Why don't you just leave the money in the bank? Listen, before I'd let Prang have the use of my money, I'd burn it. Shame to show her face to people, I guess. I can give you a look to the highway on my way to the bank. I'd be obliged. Come on, Luann. Let's give Billy here a lift. You know, not only do they assault her, but they're free to go right on keeping her living in terror. If only one of us had the guts to just cut them down. Yeah, I tried that once. Huh? Oh, nothing. Excuse me. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on, Luann. Let's give Billy a lift. Come on, love. You don't have to be afraid. Billy's our friend. Come on, now. Come on. Gangrene, you're sure you can jump those wires? Yeah, man. Take me three seconds. OK, I'll do the driving. And you guys know what to do. Yeah. Hey, man, that's class. Just don't do anything stupid, will you, man? Just take her someplace and scare her. I mean that. Oh, hi, Rose. Has anyone heard from Daddy yet? I'll bring you your money as soon as we finish. No hurry. Goodbye, Luann. Well, do you know when he'll arrive? How come not till Monday? Keep your head down if he starts shooting. Yeah. out of here on weekends. And I'm not gonna take a train or a bus. Those jerks could get on any time. You scream again and you've had it. Goldilocks and his two bears, huh? What are you guys out doing some more of your daring good deeds, are you? That's very funny, Indian. Move out, Indian. This doesn't concern you. I guess it doesn't, but uh, the young lady there seems awfully concerned. What the hell's the matter with you, man? Don't you hear good? Oh, come on. Don't do that. Don't do what, dude? 
Look, I'm asking you nice now. Please, don't do that. How about a pretty please on your knees? No. On your knees. <laughs> All right now, miss, you can get off. Hey. Come on, you say no one's gonna hurt you up here. Would you, uh, would you like me to fix you something neat? It'd make you feel a lot better. Would you like a little tea? was full of sugar, and the tires were slashed. Man, what class? You're out of sight, man. Plant one on me. No, man, a big one. Okay. Yeah, baby! bought my Jeep. Bring me my money. Hey. Hey, miss. Aren't you Vicki Barrington? How'd you get up here? Hey, Billy, they're looking all over for her. Are you all right, miss? They hurt you? No, thanks, Jack. I don't even know your name. Billy Jack. Thanks to Billy Jack. Hey, look. I'll go tell the deputy she's up here. He can radio down and have someone bring her back to the sheriff's office. No, thank you. That won't be necessary. Why not? Because I'm not going back. You mean you're not going to testify? I'm afraid not. Are you telling me that you're willing to let those animals go free? After what they did to you and to the other girls? Hey. Hey, look, look over here. Look. Look at my daughter. Are you gonna just let them get... Are you gonna let those animals get away with what they did to her? How many more Luans do there have to be before you get some guts? Don't you have any sense of responsibility? To myself, yes. Don't you even feel sorry for her? Yes, I feel sorry for her. I feel very sorry for her. Because I'm just one hairline from being just like her. I know I should testify, but I can't. I just don't have the courage or the backbone to do it. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. Here's your money. $600 in cash. You want to count it? Well, I'll be sure to let the sheriff know she's safe.
suppose you think I'm wrong not to testify, too. Well, do you think it's easy to get up in front of all those people and tell what happened? All I hear is those, those men on top of me grunting. I can't. I just can't. What's that? It's a black box. What does it do? Magic. Would you like to see? You took it. You never answered my question about that man. Who? Mr. Crawford? Mm-hmm. His kind talk too much. Hey, would you like to see some more magic? You take my hand, but be careful, because the moment you do, that black box is going to open up and something else jumps out at you as soon as you touch my hand. Go ahead. Just touch my hand. Why don't you grab my hand? What are you doing? Well, will you touch my hand? You're not very fast, are you? Nothing happened. Smile. Come on, you're cute when you smile. Smile, really. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. You're the boss. District attorney says you can see. You got 15 minutes. No smoking. Bill, take our joy writing friend back, will you? All I need is one person that saw you take that car. Just one. And I'd even settle for a liar. Sit down. My kid brother doesn't stand up for anybody. <laughs> Cigarette? Yeah. Here. Here, take a whole pack. <sighs> What's the matter? You up tight? Yeah. I am. Listen, Jerry. I've always come through for you, haven't I? Have I ever not done anything I told you I'd do? Uh, I don't know. Ever? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm not gonna let you down this time. I mean it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Ben, you know all that I want to do. I want to go home. Hey, Jerry. 
keep you cool, kid. Come on, come on, come on. Huh? Come on, come on. Come on, kid. Come on. Come on. Pardon me, are these uh, chairs taken? What are you? A girl, I think. No, no. Astrologically speaking, when were you born? November 5th. Scorpio. And you? When were you born? When was I what? When were you born? Oh, uh... August 10th. Leo. Bad combination. Especially now. Why now? Uranus. Oh, of course. Well, here, I'll show you. Where were you born? 1945. 45. Hi, listen, kid. My word. No witnesses, no indictments. I swear, this will be the last night you'll spend in this jail. Okay, Danny. Anything that you say. Yeah. Thank you for the magazine, too. That's okay, kid. Tomorrow night you can buy me a beer. Okay. I'm awful sorry about that. I guess I turned without looking. I just thought I'd warn you about gifts to the prisoners. <laughs> in order, taxes, insurance, your will, and get rid of her. <laughs> what? What did you say? Get rid of her. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Two cardinal fixed signs, uh, great power, but they don't go well together. You're in for a black period. However, things might work out, although uh, much different than you expected. Yeah. Well, thank you for the uh, fortune, Uncle. But you better dig in here. Your food is getting cold. I'm afraid we're going to have to take off. <clears throat> Even worse, Saturn is square to Mars. Nice kids. Stars are against them, though. Probably got her out here somewhere in the woods. I probably took her back home. Cue ball heard she's scared off. Yeah? As far as I know, she split for home. Yeah.
hundreds of moves. Yeah! You're robbed and plundered, and I'm scared and can't get a plane out till Monday. Got any ideas of what we could do for an encore? Tell you what I do. I'll take you and hide you someplace up in the hills there where they can't possibly find you until Monday morning anyway. Uh, hey, guys. Didn't hey, let's get all get in the shower together, okay? Hey, lover boy. That's two witnesses down and three to go. Oh, it's two to go. We got the, uh, uh, what's her name? The one who went nutty. Lou Ann Crawford. Yeah, we get Lou Ann Crawford and we get the chicken hearted one. And I promise you, Linda will take care of itself. We're willing to stand up and testify. But can you keep us safe? <laughs> now, let's be honest, Harvey. You are the weakest sheriff this town has ever seen. That's why you can't back out now. Or you'll let the whole world know that Big Rock is open pickings. <laughs> oh, we're not going to back out. Don't worry about that, are we, Henry? The gas chamber is too good for what they've done. Get a shotgun. A what? A shotgun. We can't ask the police to do everything. Get a shotgun. And if one of them so much as puts a foot on your property, blow their heads off. That's exactly what we don't want. Now, can I count on all of you to see this thing through? You bet. Absolutely. The death penalty is too good for what they've done to our Linda. <laughs> What's the matter? You're not frightened, are you? No. Well, you don't have to worry. They're not going to find you here. Mm. Aren't there bear up here? A bear and deer, boar and snake. Snakes? Rattlesnakes? Yeah. What's the matter? You afraid of snakes? I don't like snakes very much. Well, if you don't bother them, they're not going to bother you. Uh -huh. The only thing you have to worry about is they're cold-blooded, so at night they like to crawl in your sleeping bed. <laughs> very funny. Just don't roll on I'll try. Hey, what was that? What was what? That one. It's the water. No, no, not that one. The rustly sound. Oh, wait a minute. That noise? Oh, look, I'm not fooling you now. There are some Indian up here, and they like to hunt for girls, so if... Go on, run. I'll hold them off as long as I can and... Look! Forget it, Tonto. You don't seem to understand. I'm the last of the big-time cowards. If one of your blood brothers puts an arrow on your back, I'm his. Forget it. Goodbye. The man ain't been born. I'm going to get myself punched and beat up. I mean, if I got an arrow on me right now, you would just go off with him and leave me here all alone? Well, not exactly. I'd leave you a dime for the telephone call, please, you know. Tell me, how did I manage to run into you? Lucky I well, as long as I'm stuck with you, I might as well see that you get some sleep. Here, do you know how to use this thing? Which one? That. Come on.
Jump in the shower together, okay? Okay? Give me a beer. You looking for somebody? Yeah, Danny. <laughs> Billy, 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 Billy. It's still a while, Mother Man, coming in here like that. You got cool. What can I do for you? I'm looking for some motorcyclists. They uh, ransacked my trailer and stole my piggy bank. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? I don't know. I wasn't there. So? So I want it back. Stealing's illegal. Call a cop. That's fine. No, I think I can get it back better my own way. Uh -huh. What are you going to do when you find him? See if he's man enough to keep it. <laughs> you know, Billy, I admire your guts. So, I'm going to tell you the truth. It was probably that prevert gangrene that did it. Can't trust him at all. And I don't want anybody spoiling the reputation of this club. So, I'll make a check on that and get back to you on that subject. When you got till tomorrow. Oh, that's tough. Well, uh, what are you going to do then? Take on the whole chapter? No, I'm an Indian, remember? And we're sneaky. We know how to strike silently, in the dark. Any night, any time, any place. Uh, maybe you've heard all that before, though, huh? Mm-hmm. Be kind of interesting to see how you like being hunted for a while. Till tomorrow. Just, uh... Call on your old pal, D.C. Anything I can do, I'll help. I'm sure you will. Hey, Danny? Why don't you let me break that dude in two and be done with him? No, no, no. Let's, let's toy with him for a while, huh? Hey, guys. How about we all jump in the shower together, okay? <laughs> Hey, cowboy. Is that your iron or hers? <laughs> Did you cats ever pick up on a dude riding side saddle with a chick? <laughs> Where are your bow and arrows, Injun? She's probably afraid the big bad bike will hurt his lily white hands. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you teach him, man? Hey, why don't you let me do it? Get him, friend. Crabs here make a man out of you. <laughs>
It's Sunday. How come you boys aren't in church? Funny. <laughs> I think both these mothers need some lessons, Dan. You know, the usual way we bug yellow bastards into fighting is to uh, pour a little something in their beer. <laughs> Since you don't have any beer, <laughs> why don't I just use your hat? <laughs> hey, cue ball. Yeah, man. Fill her up, please. <laughs> hey, you want regular or Ethel? <laughs> You save stamps, man. <laughs> Where's my money? That's okay, Krabs. No need for violence. The engine's our friend. You know, Billy, you're all right. I like you. You got class. But I got a problem. You see, uh, this chick, I want her back. Oh, I want her back. Well, I think that's up to her to decide. No, that's up for you to decide, because uh, I'm going to have it one way or the other. Where's gangrene and my money? Oh, now, take my advice there. Uh, why don't you let Gangrene have the money? You'd be much better off. He's a mean mother. Danny, I'm not going to ask you again. Well, suppose I got to tell you, he's right behind you. <laughs> I got his bread, Danny. You want that chick so bad, you take her, man. See? What did I tell you? <laughs> How about it, chick? You want to ride with us? That's about as intelligent as asking me if I want the bubonic plague. Well, you don't seem to understand, honey. See, I, I'm offering you the choice between this messed up engine. <laughs> yeah, I know. And this group of live, crawling maggots. Some choice. My money, Daniel. You want it bad enough to take it off me, stud? <laughs> if I have to. OK, stud. I've been wanting to crack at you from the beginning. Are you planning on fighting or uh, talking me to death? Indian bastard! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh! Hold it. No heat, Pop. Guys, cool it. God, you wouldn't. That's up to you. Whose bike is this? Tell him. Clubs. How much you got in it? Three thousand. All right, Vicky, get on that bike. Go on. There's over 300 missing. Well, he's a big spender. He's got till tomorrow morning. And if my 300 bucks isn't back, or if you guys visit my trailer again, this bike is going up in flames. Oh, Mother, don't, uh, don't take that bike. You'll be signing your death warrant. Somebody 
Get the ape on a bike and get him up. You gonna let him treat us like that? I'm stalling. Danny, why'd you call me an ape? Because you're cute. <laughs> Will what I do tomorrow make any difference between us? No. Well, don't you even want to know what I've decided to do about tomorrow? No, I figure that's your own private business. You know, I feel like those stars up there are inside of me, just glowing softly. I've always felt that I had a light bulb-like thing inside of me, and all my seeds were in it. If I let the wrong person in, the little light bulb would be jabbed and broken, and all of me would pour out and be gone forever. Sounds silly, huh? doesn't sound silly at all. Hey, look. It's all lit up inside, like my light bulb. Oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. What am I going to do? You do what you have to do. More cream, honey. You know, if they didn't try anything last night, we can safely say the worst is over. It's the only way you'll be able to hold your head up again. Phil, can you say anything? Tell where it's coming from. Get down, you. Be damn if I can figure this out. They could have killed us. Why didn't they? The rear. Say straight arrow, you sneaking in a little private initiation? <laughs> oh, look, Billy, our neighborhood welcome wagons come to greet us. Danny wants to see you. Why? I'm not going to testify. Sure, Mother. I'm not going to testify. <laughs> it's true, she's not. Look, man, he says he wants to see you. Oh, good. Our friend and leader, Danny Smutmoth, wants us to drop by. For tea, maybe? Oh, slither back there, lizard. You'll get your day, little mother. Yeah. Now, look, do we carry you out, or just you got to meet us up by the bikes? You might get some of us, Injun, but one of us will get to her. All right, we'll meet you by the road. Of course, if you'd like to go along, we'll babysit with your friend here. <laughs> Free of charge. <laughs> I said we'd meet you by the road. Five minutes. Back by the tree. Hello, Minuteman. Listen, your daughter's fine. And if you get here in 15 minutes alone, she'll stay that way. Otherwise, Daddy. Well, man, you got here just in time for Operation Drop Charge. After that, you're going to do the impossible, aren't you? Show us how you get your money back. Green. <laughs> Problems of responsibility and leadership. 
Trying to keep gangrene back till he gets his kicks in at you. <laughs> Luan! Luan! Lucky here. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Daddy. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. <laughs> Look, we've got to get out of here, all of us. When this starts, you slip out, call the sheriff, and then hide. No, I won't go. You're chicken little, remember? Hey, uh, Paul Revere, Mr. Minuteman, sir. So far today, nobody's laid a hand on your daughter, but we could have. Between the time we picked her up and the time you got here, a lot of things could have happened. Cue ball here didn't want to be so nice. I won't go without you. They're gonna destroy that girl and then you if we don't get some help. Besides, once you're out of here, I can easily get away myself. Now, when I start this thing, you go and don't look back. Do you understand me? Okay. Unless you drop the charges and refuse to testify, your daughter's a dead pigeon. What about the others? They'll testify. You've already talked to them. Very cooperative people in this town. <laughs> Just one more to go, but very cooperative. I'll think it over. You do that. You do that. In the meanwhile, uh, gangrene cue ball, why don't you take Luann into the bedroom and keep her amused? <laughs> Use the couch like you're her psychiatrist. <laughs> OK. Get ready to shove on. Daddy. Please. Hey, fellas, uh, geez, I really. You know, I just can't help but uh, sitting over there like that, admiring how you great big dudes, just like that, you can handle this little girl. It's fantastic to watch, really. Mr. Impossible, Mr. Impossible. You're really too, too much. You think you can get away with those Green Beret heroics in here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. The only question I have now is uh, whether or not you're man enough to try me. somewhere, little mother? Stop it! You want me to stop it, little mother? You know how. All right, but he goes free. Word of honor, all the way. My word of honor, anything you want. <laughs> well, you heard what the little lady said, Jim. Let him go. you suddenly changed your mind. Because I'm a coward, and this just isn't worth getting beat up for. So let's get it over with and let me be on my way. OK. Wait a minute. They get out of here first. <laughs> you still don't trust me, do you? No. <laughs> well, you see, Mr. Miniman, <laughs> that's the kind of help you can expect to get from anybody. <laughs> Unless, of course, you want to show me how you can protect your daughter. All right. 
I'll drop the charges. Cross your heart and hope to die? Yes. <laughs> That's a boy, Minute Man. Now remember, unless you know a way to keep a police card on your daughter day and night, year in and year out, you better keep that promise. Because uh, <laughs> you and I both know what a terrible job you can do protecting her, don't we? Huh? <laughs> Let her go. <laughs> well, go on, get out. Take their friend out to the truck. time for this, haven't we? <laughs> After you. Go to hell. What? I said go to hell. Well, you treacherous little bitch. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah, it means I'd have to be dead three days before I'd let you touch me. Where's Billy Jack? He's in the next room. Take him to the hospital, then come back for him. Anywhere from the highway between. They're on the way. Oh, they're away. You rabbit, can't you go in with what you've got? No, I can't. Without riot equipment, it'd be suicide. OK. OK. Mrs. Kern, could you come here? Mrs. Kern, you know that this leaves us only Linda. If she's going to crack, I could ask her to postpone. But if she'll go through with it. Don't worry about Linda. She'll go through with it. You're absolutely positive. I'm telling you, she'll go through with it. No, I won't. What was that, dear? I said I won't go through with it. Why, Linda? Of course she will, Mr. Davis. I promised you. I can't go through with it. I wasn't raped. What was that, dear? I said I wasn't raped. I wanted them to do it. I'd even been there before that night. How about the other girls? Had they been there before, too? Well, Dodell and Luann, they thought it was daring. But then after a while, when they saw what they were getting to, they got scared, and they tried to run out. But it was too late. They raped them, the whole gang of them, over and over again. Oh, it was awful. I hit them, and I hit them, but they wouldn't stop. If I would have had a gun, I would have killed them. I hate them so much for doing that. Almost as much as I hate you. No, that's not true, I guess. Of course not, dear. You don't hate us. Oh, yes, I do. It's those evil losers I don't hate very much. I couldn't, because I've snuck back there since it happened, twice. And you know something, Mother? To show you how screwed up I really am. I liked it. I really do. I like it. You don't know what you're saying. You're out of your mind. You don't know what you're saying. Damn you! I liked it! I liked it! I liked it! Why? Why? Because they're everything you hate. That's it. Just like that. My case collapses, and I have to let them go. Suddenly, the whole system is turned upside down. I have no choice but open the gates and let the animals of the world take over. Where did we go wrong, Harvey? Where did the whole goddamn system go wrong? All right, little mother. Time to make your initiation official. I told you, baby. I'd have you sooner or later. I don't choose slime. Let's take a peek, little mother.
Where is Vicky? She's still down there. The hospital? No, at the beach house. She's where? She's still down at the beach house. Alone? Yeah. Well, that's real nice going. She's down there at the beach house alone, and you guys are up here hiding out? Well, the highway patrol is on its way. They'll, they'll be here shortly. Shortly? Well, she's down there now. You can't, son. It'd be suicide. Now, I'm walking out that door. And all I want to know is there's just one of you in here that is man enough to go with me. Whatever they've done to you women, you deserve. Round up as many men and guns as you can get. And hurry! Get up! Funky little thing, ain't she? Now, do we go into the bedroom? Yes or no, baby? Psychopath. I want that Indian dead. Well, fan out, stupids! There's enough of us to cover every inch of ground in the place. Find him! It doesn't make sense, Daniel. Why do you want to burn your bike? To get us out of here. That's right. All right, come on. Against the wall. Move. You don't learn very fast, engine. Fast enough. Billy Jack, I'm gonna kill you if it's the last thing I do. You shoot one of us and the rest of us will be on you like a pack of wolves. You'll never get her out of here alive. I'm not gonna take her out of here, you are. <laughs> You been smoking something, Engine? You're gonna clear a lane and have two of those girls take her down to that hospital. And when the doctor calls and tells me that she's there safe, you and I will call it a day. <laughs> and if I don't? I shoot you right between the eyes. And I shoot another one of you every minute that that phone doesn't ring starting 15 minutes after she leaves here. That mother's flipped out, Daniel. Shut up. He knows what it would mean. Murder. It would be self-defense. You said yourself that I'd never leave here alive, remember? <laughs> Billy, 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 this time you've gone too far. All right, you cats. Very slowly now. Spread out. All right, Vicky. Get up. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna count to three, and that lane better be cleared. One. He means it, Daniel. Two. I'm gonna... 
got your bowels out. Three. Child. Huh? Okay. You're in charge. One. We'll get her! Help up! Clear that lane! Don't forget to have that doctor call! Hey. You don't have a watch on. How are you going to know when 15 minutes are up? Well, you better hope that I'm a good guesser, huh? Now, come on. I want all of you against that wall away from the phone. Out. Ah, not you, child. You and me, we have our own procession. And if I go, you go. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, let's move. Let's make it. Hold it. All right, there's over a dozen guns on you. Everybody line up against the wall. Chicken Little anymore. <laughs> you do look kind of funny, though. I know now how much I love you. This is about the closest I ever came to a, a real home. You crazy Indian. You and I, we are the sunset, and the sunrise, and the fourth, and, oh, Billy. 